my name is Stephanie Abudea, and we're here today to teach you an Arabic dance known as Dabka. Dab is to stomp one's foot, so get ready for this dance. It's a lot of stomping. When you're teaching this in your classroom, you should begin by stomping with your left foot to the beat of the music. Once the students have the hang of this, then you should move on to adding in a kick on beat three. And then if you add in the words, you can add in a touch to it. So it's step, step, kick, touch, 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 step. Step, kick, touch. Once this is mastered, you can move on to adding in a hop with your kick. This is a little bit harder for students, and so you may need to practice this without the music before adding it to the music. Stomp, stomp, kick, touch, stomp, stomp, kick, touch, stomp, stomp, kick, touch, stomp. Stomp, kick, touch. Next, you want to move the students into an open circle with the leader on the far right side. Hands should be held at waist height in loose grips and facing the direction of the dance. Remember, reminding students that the left foot is the lead foot. We start without moving anywhere, just reviewing the steps we had learned in our place. And then we begin to move. Step together, step together, kick, touch, step together, step together, kick, touch, step together, step together, kick, touch. The leader of the dance is free to improvise at will. is that instead of hopping and kicking, we'll be stepping across and back. Step together, step together, cross back. Step together, step together, cross back. The next version of step cut includes a grapevine step, which is crossing in front and then behind. Cross, back, kick, touch, cross, back, kick, touch. This last step cannot variation 
involves both the grapevine step and the kick. Stomp, kick, stomp, kick, cross, back. 